Roots is a place where young people and volunteers, people who worship in this neighborhood, people who attend UW, come together every night of the week and turn a church basement into a living room. And so what that means is they're providing shelter and a warm welcome to people who don't have a safe place to be at night. Um, that includes laundry and dinner and breakfast and the access to other supportive services like case management. Here at Roots we have 27 beds where our guests can sleep. Uh, between 8 and 8.30 p.m. we get any number of names on our list. Um, and then at 8.30 we cut off our list. Uh, usually at that point, if we have more than our, our capacity of 27, we'll do a random lottery um, to decide who can and can't stay. Friday Feast has served a weekly meal since 1997. We now serve as many as 150 people a night. Unlike the typical soup kitchen fair where it's uh, a cup of soup, Friday Feast is proud of our 12 different entree and side dish choices and our, you know, large portions. You know, I'm 23 years old and I don't smoke, I don't drink. I use the pain that I went through in life and turn it to a positive thing. And we don't have no youth shelters. They don't have places like Roots. I find Roots a blessing. Because if it weren't for Roots, I'll be sleeping outside. Youth and young adult homelessness has a lot of faces. It's everything from somebody who is working their way through college and waiting for their next financial aid check to come through and doesn't have a place to be at night. It's people who are sleeping in their cars, people who are working two jobs but still can't afford Seattle rent. We arrived here in early June and uh, found this place about, I don't know, two or three weeks after uh, being under the viaduct. In the car. Wow. Three of us. <laughs> so you were in a car for finding roots. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Do you still have the car? Yeah. <laughs> the hardest thing about, you know, staying on the streets for me is, you know, just how random everything is. There's no, you know, you can't really make plans because things change. Um, and you just kind of have to go with whatever's happening at the moment. Roots programs couldn't happen without volunteers. They account for up to 75% of our team members and last year accounted for 21,000 hours of labor. Initially, I started volunteering at Roots as part of service learning through UW and uh, I instantly fell in love with everything about it. The people who volunteered here, the staff, the guests I interacted with, and that hasn't changed in nearly five years. I had a Friday off and uh, asked them if they needed volunteers. And here I am, down the road, still cooking. So, yeah, and I've been here about 10 years on and off. Most of the volunteers here are like regulars. I know what they're doing. And so you get here at 8 o'clock and you can just see the volunteers. Like, no, no one has to tell them anything. They come in here, they pick up their, like, Matt's uh, map, and they pick, they go to the kitchen and they just start cooking or they start laying out the mats and putting the sheets together. And, like, no one says anything to them. And it's just interesting that like um, there's places that people get paid like $30 an hour and there's always someone telling them what to do, whereas here people are like doing it because they want to and it runs so smoothly like every night. I get here at 8 p.m. Um, and I do an overnight shift um, as an overnight supervisor and then I'm here until 9 o'clock in the morning um, once all the guests have left and we're done cleaning up for the day. A lot of people don't realize that often just on the other side of the street there's a space that is providing a caring 24-7-365 um, shelter space for 27 guests, uh, staffed entirely by volunteers. Well, I've been volunteering for around 10 years. Well, I, I come back because I uh, enjoy cooking and I feel like I'm in this community and doing some good. I think I've learned that it is an ongoing problem and there will always be people on the streets that we need to take care of. And they come and go, but there's always, almost always 25 people here every night. The hardest thing about being at Roots are those nights when we have more people who want to come to shelter. When we have to turn people away, um, sometimes this, some guests are really traumatized they have no place to go and it's really really difficult to just confirm that we have no we only have limited space 
um, that's really, really hard. My friends definitely think I'm crazy, but I can't tell them enough how not crazy I am. I get a chance to talk about why I like Root so much, and it's kind of my opportunity to tell them why it's so great and to get them to come with me. Without the volunteers, there won't be no fruits. And you may never know a smile just might help a person.